Hi, I'm Bob. My wife Lisa and I are the owners of the Beast Skip. We're a business that focuses primarily on punch needle, rug punching, and rug hooking. This is punch needle. You've got the pattern that's printed on the fabric, and you've got a punch needle that is threaded with a colored thread. And what you do is you push the punch needle into the fabric, pull it out just barely out of the fabric, move over a little bit, and keep punching. And this process goes until you finish. I would have filled in this white area with this, with this thread. When you're done, take your little scissors, you clip the thread, and you move on to the next color. Now in doing this punch needle, you're working on the back of the project. All punch needles, you're working on the back of the project. This is the front of the project. Now for this particular punch needle project, I'm using one of our gripper frames. Now you can successfully punch needle using an embroidery hoop, but you'll find that as you work on the project, the project is gonna loosen up. With the gripper frame, the backing stays tight when you start and it's tight for the whole time that you're working on your project. You can click on the videos tab on our website to see to learn more about punch needle gripper frames and other punch needle tips. Now the B-Skep sells punch needle patterns, but our customers seem to prefer our punch needle kits. Our kits contain the pattern printed on the weaver's cloth, some instructions, some helpful tips, and a color guide. We also provide enough Valdani 100% pearl cotton thread to complete the project. Now the Valdani thread is already the correct thickness, so all you have to do is load the punch needle and punch until you're through with the color. This is a small sampling of some of the patterns and kits that designed by the B-Skip. As you can see, we have a variety to choose from. We sell punch needles, the little scissors to clip the threads when you're done punching. We sell thread pots that we designed and are made by a potter right here in Colorado. These thread pots hold a ball of Valdani thread and keep the ball of thread from rolling off your work table onto the floor and under the couch or chair. Been there, done that. You can buy Valdani thread from us if you know the color number. We have over 250 colors in stock to choose from. Let's give us a call to see if we have the color you're looking for. We also carry patterns designed by other artists. In addition to selling patterns, we calculate how much Valdani thread will be needed to complete the project and convert those patterns into kit so you have everything you need to complete the project. We also sell gripper frames. We have a 9x9 nine nine size, a 12x12, 12 12, and a 13x13. 13 13. So please go to our website, thebskep.com, to see the many patterns, kits, and supplies that we carry. This is rug punching. Rug punching uses the same concept as miniature punch needle, except that you're punching with yarn instead of with thread. The pattern is printed on a heavier material called monk's cloth, and you have this rug punching tool that is threaded with the yarn. What you do is you take the rug punch, you push it into the backing, you pull it out, you move over a couple of holes in the monk's cloth, and you push the tool back in. So you keep punching like that until you've finished with a color. Once you're done doing a color area, you take the tool, you pull it out of the material, you snip it, and you move on to the next color. Now, similar to miniature punch needle, you're working on the back of the project. This is the completed project. For this rug punching project, I'm using a rug punching gripper frame. This gripper frame is coarser than the punch needle gripper frame and keeps your project tight throughout the whole thing. You can use an embroidery hoop, but an embroidery hoop will loosen up as you work on the project. This, you pull it tight to start the project and it'll stay tight all the way through the project. You can click on the videos tab of our website to learn more about how to rug punch, thread the punching tool and other rug punching tips. We do sell just patterns for those crafters like knitters that have leftover yarn from other projects, but our customers, again, seem to prefer our rug punching kits. Our kits contain the pattern printed on monk's cloth, instructions, color guide, and enough 100% wool yarn that Lisa's hand dyed to complete the project. 
Our kits are developed to use the Amy Oxford number 14 8 inch rug punch. This is just a small sampling of the patterns and kits designed by the b skip for rug punching. As you can see, we again have a variety of themes to choose from. We have projects for both younger artists as well as more experienced rug punchers. Along with our kits, we sell the rug punching tool, scissors to clip the yarn when you're done punching a color, as well as gripper frames in three mix and match sizes. The b skip also has the exclusive license to offer Michael Vichy cat and dog artwork as rug punching projects. These kits contain the pattern on the mug's cloth, the color chart, and more than enough yarn to complete the project. Our website has over 100 breeds of dogs and six different cat designs available as rug punching projects. So go to our website, thebeastcap.com, to see the many rug punching patterns, kits, and supplies that we carry. Rug hooking is an art that uses a totally different concept from miniature punch needle and rug punching. To rug hook, you take pieces of wool that have been cut into little strips called worms or noodles. And using a rug hooking tool, you pull the strips through the backing material to fill in the color area. With rug hook hooking, you're working on the front side of the project, so the trick is to keep the loops nice and even. This is an example of a rug hooking project that was done using wool strips for the moose in the background and then using wool yarn for the antlers. For this project, Lisa is using a rug hooking gripper frame. Our gripper frames for rug hooking and rug punching are the same and the gripper frame pieces can be mixed and matched to work with a variety of project sizes. We have a number of themes available for rug hooking projects as well as beginner rug hooking kits. We also sell an assortment of rug hooking hooks and bent blade scissors for trimming your noodles. As with punch needle and rug punching, we work with select artists to provide their artwork as rug hooking patterns. These fun dog rug hooking patterns are ones that we've developed with the artist Michael Vistia. We have over 100 breeds of dogs and six different cats available as rug hooking patterns. Our patterns are printed on either monk's cloth or unbleached linen. To go along with our rug hooking patterns, we carry many colors and patterns of 100% wool available in quarter yard pieces. If you don't have a cutter for a small fee, we can cut the wool into whatever cut of worm you need for your project. Along with the rug hooking patterns, we also have some fun applique kits that Lisa's put together. Applique is the art of attaching a number of fabric designs pieces on top of a larger fabric backing. These kits are from patterns made by threads that bind and include the pattern, the instructions, and enough wool to complete the project. So check out our website, thebeeskep.com, to see the rug hooking patterns, rug hooking kits, and applique kits, and 100% wool quarters that we have available.